Hello. Hello guys, so welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are feeling good. My name is Nkumi Biki Crown. So guys, I'm here with a guest. His name is... My name is Obuga Sulicho so Super Psycho to be here. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> so guys, we're going to be checking out a video together titled, Why do Muslims don't marry non-Muslims? Interesting. Is that so? Well, let's find out. All right. <laughs> You are gentlemen, as I, uh, I see everybody here that I look at is a male so far. Now, suppose you went home tonight, every one of these distinguished gentlemen. Yes. And all of your daughters chose this day to tell you right. that they had decided to marry the Jewish boy down the street right. Right. or the Christian right. boy that was walking around. Young people, often they start all these things. And then how do you speak to them when you say, look, the Jew is my brother, the Christian is my brother, but we don't get married. And then you come back to white doesn't want to marry black, and then everybody passes laws. So intermarriage or what they decided. What if your son came home and said, I have been a good Muslim for 30 years, but suddenly I have decided to become a Christian. I mean, so what do you say? Yes. Okay. Your second question about marriage. Islam tells us, see, in detail now, whom we can and whom we can't. We follow this biblical injection to the letter where the Bible says that an idolater or an idolater thou shalt not marry. Now we who uphold that. An idolater and an idolater thou shalt not marry. So my son falls in love with a Hindu girl. My religion says, no, you can't marry her. No matter how beautiful she is, no matter how much she allures. What? He said, you can't marry. Now racially, with the Hindus, most of the Hindus, we are one language group, we have the same racial stock, we carry the same surnames, we enjoy the same dishes, but because of our religious uh, concept, idea of God, my religion says, no, you can't marry an idolater or an idolatress. I can, my religion allows me to marry a Christian woman or a Jewess. Okay. It does allow you it to marry? It does allow, yes. Wow. It does I allow know that. reason, the reason. There's a reasoning behind it. He said, look, we are so close. Mm -hmm. If I marry a Christian, a Jewess, for example, I would be the last man to say anything abusive about any of the Jewish heroes. Moses, David, Solomon, mm -hmm. Jesus. We have the highest respect for them. So this wife of mine is Jewess. She will be still at home with me. In other words, I respect Moses. I respect David, Solomon, all the prophets. What do I am going to tell her with her and reason with her is, so come dear, now come a step forward. You have been at a certain level of religious education. Come two steps forward. One is to accept Jesus and then accept Muhammad as well. So I am asking her to come to a higher level of understanding religion. To the Christian woman in this country, when I said that at first, that look, we are allowed to marry Christian women. So the white men in the audience, when I delivered talks, they were thinking, say, ah, yeah, yeah, I know why. So I said, why? He said, just because we are whites. You think now marrying a white woman is a superior thing to do? I said, no, no, no. Even if the Christian woman is an African woman, she is a Hottentot, she is a Bushman, she is Christian, I can marry her. Because again, we are so close. We accept Jesus as one of the mightiest messengers of God. We accept him as the Messiah. We accept his miraculous birth. We accept his many miracles. The only point of real difference between me and my spouse, that Christian lady would be, that I would say, look, he is not God. He is not the begotten son of God. But everything else, we have a common denominator. We have one with the Jew. We have a common denominator with the Christian. So we said, we can get them and more easily they can be absorbed in the house of Islam. Because whatever you believe, we believe, plus a step further. But now my daughter can't marry a Hindu hmm. man, nor can she marry a Jew, nor can she marry a Christian. Hmm. Now the Hindu is understood being an idol worshiper. But now you say, what about the Jew and the Christian? I can marry a Jewess and I can marry a Christian woman. Why can't my daughter marry a Jew or mm -hmm. a Christian? Yeah. Now the reason is that you see the Christian husband of my daughter, he's got no respect for Muhammad. He's going to use an offensive language. 
He's going to say Muhammad is an imposter. Why? Because that's Not his training. No, that's his training. Because as soon as you say, as soon as you say that you accept Muhammad as a prophet, you are a Muslim. You see, when you say, you have, I say, look, Muhammad, you, you will say, look, Muhammad was a great man. Everybody says so. He was a mighty man. You know, he created a nation and an empire and a religion. He is supposed to have left behind a book like the Quran. So he said, look, I take off my hat to the man. He's great. And so many people say he was one of the greatest men that ever lived. Michael H. Hart in his top 100. He puts Muhammad. Hmm. Interesting. But why is it that there are men allowed to marry Christians? But women, because they have this belief that when she converts, she has to follow the religions of her husband. That means she she will leave her own religion behind. You no, know, that belief she has about Prophet Muhammad, she said Prophet, it's all stop. No, it doesn't affect it. I know some people that will marry a Christian man, and she will still you no know, once in a while she still you no know, practice or worship Prophet Muhammad. But based on the fact that she has married a man, she has to follow whatever religion the man is. Even though you convert completely to be a Christian, that doesn't mean that if I see my Muslim brothers and sisters, I'll be against them or I'll know. No, I won't do that. But I don't see anything bad in it. If you can allow the Muslim men to marry you know, Christian ladies, why can't Muslim ladies, why can't they marry Christian guys? Why? It's not supposed to be. Well, I understand um, the aspect is coming from because probably they believe in what we believe, but we don't believe in some of what they believe. Okay. You get it? So yeah. if I don't believe in something, I'm likely to disrespect that thing you don't believe in. Mm -hmm. yeah. But when yeah, I look at marriages and understanding, mm -hmm. I've seen people who are both Christians and Muslim marrying, and they don't have issues. There's no fighting or you must come to the mosque and pray with me, or you must convert, or you must revert. No. But I know a friend who is married to a Muslim, and he doesn't care if the children go to the mosque or they church. go to the church. Okay. For him, he believes the love he has for his wife is enough. He doesn't mm. go. There are things he knows the wife, uh, religious, and like, it's okay. The Quran and Islam, for his beats steadily, like, it's category stated, no alcohol. Oh. So you won't see him touch alcohol or mm. go to a place where there is alcohol. No, because he respects that of his wife. Mm. You, mm. you get my mm. point. Mm. So a lot of things. He, I know him. He used to like pork meat because his wife, because his wife is a Muslim, he stops mm. eating it's pork in meat. It. Wow, amazing. You see, love first in terms of marriage. I believe love should come first before yeah, anything. Love. You have to think of your child's happiness, your daughter's happiness. If you know that that's what brings her happiness, and well, do you prefer her to marry someone that will you know, be beating her, maltreating her, all in the name of I want to follow my religion because, oh, my daddy is a religious person, so I have to, oh, I don't love this person, but based on the fact that, oh, this is what my daddy wants, let me marry him. No, it shouldn't be. We are one. So let's keep watching. But number one, yes, Jews, Master, you know, in his. Uh, Book on, on the Turks, the history the of the Turks. Top 100 men. Right. In the top 100. Um, then Jews, Masterman. Yeah, in in the, the, the history, who are history's great leaders. And Lamartine, in his history of the Turks. He says, if greatness of purpose, smallness of means, and outstanding results are the three criteria of human greatness, who could dare to compare any great man in modern history with Muhammad? He's daring people, bring your candidates. So in other words now, from that point of view, the Christian, the Westerner, will be prepared to concede that Muhammad was a great man, but he was an imposter. In other words, he was, not, he was a false prophet. So that's the biggest barrier now. Because if you accept that he was also a prophet, prophet means that God chose him. If God chose Muhammad, now Muhammad tells you that the flesh of the swine thou shalt not eat. Now you can say, look, I like pork chops. You know, all my life I've been enjoying it. So look, mm -hmm. this man is a prophet of God and is authorized by God to tell you now, don't eat the pig. Don't drink alcohol. No promiscuousness. Don't dance or court or date women. So if every step now, if you believe in this man, that he is a prophet of God, you have to listen to him. It's not just a word saying, I believe he's a prophet. It means nothing. When you say he is a prophet of God, what does it imply? It means that he is chosen by God. Now, if he's chosen by God to guide you, to tell you now, according to your capacity now, that you are not to touch alcohol, you are not to take interest, you are not 
whatever he tells you, it becomes binding on you, which you are not prepared to accept. Who? The Jew or the Christian. Mr. Dida, I have to... I, last time I was... Wow, wait. I didn't know to take interest alone as a Muslim. I think yeah. I'm hearing that. Even wow. in Dubai, they don't. Oh. Wow, wow. That was actually new to me. I never knew, like, then if you are really in need of help and you don't have any assistance anywhere, and if that's the only solution, what will you do? How will you cope? Mm -hmm. Like, I always imagine, because the country is hard, though. Even in Nigeria, people take loans, like, loans, because everybody's managing. People are really managing. So you come in with, oh, I have bills to pay, please, you know, can you borrow me money? No, no friend, no family mm -hmm. wants to give you that kind of money, you know. And, ah, man, I don't know. That's Okay, I think me. we are Christians or Muslims. First, we are human beings. So love is the greatest religion, I might believe. I believe love is the greatest religion. As far as we don't sin against God, we respect each other, we have respect for, if you respect me, you should respect everything I believe in or whatever I stand for. Oh. You, you get my point, my beliefs, mm. my likes, my dish, my sense of fashion as far as it doesn't go against um, your religion or I don't dress mm -hmm. in, a, in a way that I expose myself. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. if I'm living modestly, I'm living a good life, I'm loving my neighbor. And as far as I don't go against what you believe in, I think we should be okay. I know of some people that they will marry Muslim, Christian, and the guy will not even stop the wife from going to mock what's the wife. Me, I don't believe that that should really affect it. Like, no, you shouldn't. You should let your, you know, child Marry whoever he wants to marry. Don't let religion come in between it. Like, it's the happiness. Think of that to your daughter's happiness. That's what really matters. Like, will you be okay for her being maltreated? You no, know, being sad for the rest of her life in that marriage? No. That is what matters. That's what me I believe in, guys. Yes, yeah, somewhere I have um, having issues with um, the dad's. Um, explanation right now because okay. looking at this, this where we reacted where he says okay um where he tries to he dissected the bible where he says there were um christian um word of the prophet Prof oh. word of there's a video we Jewish, reacted to yeah, yeah, yeah and that pornography and rest in the yeah, bible yeah yeah yeah, and yeah, stuff. yeah. And word of god yeah the word pornography of, yeah, yes word of Godoshia, jesus yeah jesus and, yes yes so now he was saying word of Jesus that Jesus said, when he used uh, this place where Jesus say it was said to you as then of old, mm -hmm. but I say to you when Jesus was talking about the divorce yeah. issue, but I say to you that you should take only one wife, oh, something like that. Yes. That is and but the Islam they also believe Jesus as um, a prophet. Mm -hmm. So if they believe in Jesus, that means they have to take his word for it, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now he's saying if you believe in Muhammad. You have to take Muhammad to watch for it. So Muhammad said, do not eat pork chops. So if you believe in Muhammad, you believe that the word is from God. God. And you should not take alcohol. Mm -hmm. So yes. you're saying this here, you're saying that that's where I'm having issues mm, concerning. Yeah. I get you. I I'm get not you. That specifically about this. I don't have issues with what he's saying here. I quite understand. There's right a particular now, video we actually reacted to. Yeah, so please, he, she'll be dropping the link here yeah, so you check yeah, it please out. Check it out. Yeah, but you'll so you're able to have more understanding of what he's trying to yeah. say. So if anybody can explain better to me, I would actually um, love that. Thank you very yeah, much. Yeah, all right. Mm. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button for more. Like, share, and comment. And I'll be dropping his no channel link in my description box for more reaction videos. Till next time, bye. bye.